Today I'm showing you how you can download the Raven XD Ghost Client. So to get it, you want to head over to their official GitHub page, which is going to be linked down in the description below. To get there, actually, with my Discord server, and I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that, as you can find this client there together, actually, with a bunch of other ones. Anyways, on their GitHub page, you want to find the latest release, and then you want to click on the ravenxd.jar, right over there. And just like that, the download should start automatically. For this, you do want to make sure that you have Forge for 1.8.9 installed. If you don't have this yet, or you're not sure where to get it, then I will link this down in the description below. Anyways, for right now, as you can see, I have Raven XD right in my downloads. And I can press on Windows and R at the same time, and then type in app data in the box that pops up, just like that. Then hit enter or click on OK, and you should get this thing right over here. In there, you want to go over to roaming, then dot Minecraft, then maybe scroll down a little until you find the mods folder. You want to drag the ravenxd.jar right into the mods folder, just like so, and you're good. Now you can close this up, open up the Minecraft launcher, and launch Forge for 1.8.9. Here inside of Minecraft, you'll be met with this pretty good looking home screen and then I'll just go into single player for right now and show you how to use this. So now I am inside of Minecraft and I'll show you exactly how to use the client. But first off, a little bit about Raven XD. So basically, it's kind of a free alternative to Raven B4, which is a paid ghost client. Raven XD is also a ghost client it's just free which is of course fantastic anyways this client looks pretty good as you can see you can already see that it changes all of the buttons over here makes them look real nice to open up the quick gui area you want to press on right shift that'll open up this area where you can get this little puppet of yourself here in the click gui you can left click on all these plus icons and those will expand these categories Right now, they're not organized so efficiently. I recommend giving these a somewhat vertical layout. As you can see, now it's all a bit more clear. A problem, though, is that really, Raven XD has too many utilities. You want to find out which ones of these you use the most and just have these up here. Because as you can see, there is, like, this isn't even half of what the client has to offer. Which really, in theory, is just a good thing. Of course, turning down the GUI scale, which I have now done, is going to help you as well. Uh, I'm working on kind of a small screen, so this isn't how I usually play. But for people who have a little bit of a larger monitor or even a large laptop screen, this is uh, going to work a little better, of course. And, well, then your GUI scale will automatically be set to smaller, too. Anyways, in the click GUI area, you can click on these utilities to turn them on and click on them once again to turn them off. If you want a customization menu for the specific utility, you can right click on them just like so. I'm having troubles reading these because it's all a little small for me right now. It might be for you on YouTube too now. Anyways, basically, each of these utilities has a custom customization menu. And as you can see, some of them have, well more options than others. Anyways, one thing that a lot of these customizations menus do have in common is the keybind, which is this one right over here. Currently, it's set to none, but if you click on that, then you can press on any key and that will be set to the bind. You can click on it again and then press on escape and then the keybind will be removed. Anyways, that's basically that. It's pretty simple to use. Some of the more general utilities are in this client section right over here. As you can see, you have the command channels as well as the command line customization menus. You can manage the Discord rich presence as well as this GUI area over here where you can change the appearance of the general GUI as well as the current keybind, which as I said is right shift, but you can change that to anything you want there. Anyways, over here you can either turn to Choose to turn on or off notifications, which always pop down right over there. And there's this general settings area as well, which you can manage as well if you want. This client also has profiles as well as scripts. Scripts I'm not going to get into as much in this video. For the profiles, you can right click on this manager thing, then you can create a profile, 
load a profile or open the profiles folder which is where you can find all of your profiles and for example share them with other people or if you've downloaded a configuration from the internet you can put it in there as well you can press on this button and that'll reset everything back to default as you can see which maybe wasn't the smartest choice in this case but oh well Basically, creating a profile will save all the settings that you have set, including the locations of these things, their customizations, keybinds, all of the above, uh, to a profile. You can make as many as you want, then you can load them based on different scenarios or based on your mood. Anyways, you can close out of there with a simple press of the escape button. Now, cool enough, this client also actually supports custom commands. These all start with the dot instead of the slash that you would expect. As you can see, I can type dot help in chat over here and I'll get a list of all of the available commands that this client has. Right after their, well, numbering and what the command is, it also tells you exactly how to use it. These commands are set in three different categories, just general, then commands to manage your profiles, as well as module specific commands. Anyways, that was basically it for Raven XD. I recently made a video on Rusher Hack, which is also a ghost client for the latest version of Minecraft, and I'll link that video down in the description below if you want to go ahead and check it out. Once you're down there, leave in the comments below any clients you might want me to check out, and for right now, basically, that was that. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I do of course hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.